everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. I don't know what it is about Wish videos, I don't know why you guys like them so much. I suppose it's just the fact that the stuff is ridiculous a lot of the time. I mean, you get the most weird and wacky and wonderful things on Wish and most of the time they're pretty cheap and I guess all the views just come from people that either want to watch you fail or they want to find something cheap for themselves to buy. My mum is one of those people. She watched my Wish videos. I like to think that she watched them because she's a supportive parent, not because she wanted to watch me cry as I pull horrific items out of bags. Anyway, she watched my video. She came to me, she said, Alex, wow, I've never shopped on Wish. It sounds so cool. All of your videos have been great. I love all the things that you've been buying. I was thinking I might buy some things. And I said, mum, 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 mum. You realize if you're going to do a wish haul, you have to let me unbox it. And she said, oh, but then, then I have to choose, you know, things that you want, don't I? And I said, no, no, that's part of the fun of it. Why don't you just buy a whole bunch of stuff and I'll unbox it without knowing what any of it is. And thus, the $250 mystery wish unboxing was born. Just to give you a little bit of context, my mum is quite the bargain hunter. She loves to buy luxury items, but she likes to get them at an affordable price. Today, I have a feeling that mum has bought some luxury items. I'm sure, knowing my mum, because she wanted to do a wish haul and because there's a lot of fakes floating around on Wish, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna pull a few fake items out of these bags. So mum has opened them to see what they all are and she has put numbers on them. There's a certain order that she wants me to open these in. I'm a little bit nervous. Some of this stuff is apparently for me. There's a little box here that has mums written on it. So this is all specifically for mum, but all the... No, no, it says mum, not Archie. No, 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 it says mum. Just one quick thing, this is Archie. Archie is my feathered son. He's going to be in this whole video and if birds annoy you, then you should go watch someone else's wish video. Trust me, there's a lot of those that don't have birds in them. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is uh, parcel number one. And right off the bat, it's very heavy and I think it's a handbag. I'm almost certain it's a handbag because I can feel a chain in here. Because I don't know what any of this stuff is and I don't know what it's supposed to be either, I will have to go to mum after I've given my first impressions of everything and I'm gonna ask her for the links to everything so I can see what this stuff is supposed to look like. This is an extremely heavy handbag by the feel of it. Ooh, oh, wow! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Wow, okay, I know exactly what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a Gucci Dionysus bag. I think that's how you say it. Sam, how do you say Dionysus? Google the word di D I D Y D I O N Y S I S. Dionysus or Dionysus. So that's what this is supposed to be. Now this is obviously a fake Gucci bag, but I'll tell you guys what. Oh my goodness, this is insanely good. I am so surprised. What? Dionysus, the god of grape harvest, winemaking and wine. A ritual madness, fertility, theatre and religious ecstasy in ancient Greek. I would not believe that this was from Wish. I can tell you that right now. Looking at this, picking this up, I, I literally, I do not even believe that mum got this from Wish. Like, I feel like she's just gone somewhere and, you know, like to Forever 21 or something. Like, that's what this feels like. This feels like something you'd get from H&M or Forever 21. It feels really, really good. Now, I've obviously never owned a real Dionysus bag ever because I'm not Jeffree Star. From what I've seen from pictures, it does look fairly similar. This metal part here feels a little bit cheap, but the rest of it, the bag itself, it's not leather, it's just like fake leather, but the chain is really, really heavy, really, really solid. I think that's actually like insanely good. Insanely good. This is a really, really good way to start the video. Have a look on the inside. That's beautiful. It's got this really, really big zip all the way along here. No, there's no almonds in there, sorry. And then it's got a second flap here. Ooh, well, that flap's a bit annoying. That doesn't actually open properly. You can just kind of like get in there. That's a bit awkward. No, 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 no break, no break. I am shaken to my core and I kind of feel like this is a bad way to start the video because 
it can only go downhill from here because nothing's gonna be quite as good as this. This is amazing. Like, amazing. Good choice, mum. Number two, okay. This is... Uh, okay. Well, this sounds a bit weird. These are hand cuffs, but you know, not, not the prison kind. These are the stylish designer kind. So here's what they look like. They're like this. I think with the V, they're either supposed to be Louis Vuitton or Versace. I'm not sure. So there's the first one. That is, you know what? Again, I wouldn't consider that this was from Wish. Like, if my mum had just given this to me, let's say as a birthday present, if mum had just come up to me and said, Alex, like, I got you these and handed them to me, I would think that she'd gone into, again, maybe H&M or Forever 21. Like, that's just, that's just what it feels like. That's what it looks like. There they are. Again, these are actually, like, so nicely made. I can't believe that these are from Wish. I, I really, I feel like my mum's trolling me. I feel like... The, none of this is from Wish, surely. Like, this is too nice, what I've unboxed so far. Here's number three. What the heck? I think these are hair extensions. <laughs> oh my god, they are! Are they? Or is it a wig? No, no, I'm pretty sure these are hair extensions. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what do I do with- what- how does this work? I don't under- oh no, it's clearly- it's clearly a beard. I'm actually the stunt double for Gimli in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, this is a- uh, I think it's hair extensions. Archie, no! Archie, no! Archie, no! They don't have any clips on them, they just have this kind of like- uh, plastic string thing? Get away from my earrings, no! So that's what it looks like. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was human hair, to be honest, because this feels, like, ridiculously soft. This feels so good. It's almost the same as my hair colour, which is so strange for me, because when I was younger, I used to really, really want hair extensions. You remember, for those of you that are around my age, I'm 24, a couple of years ago, the hair extensions were huge. I mean, the beauty gurus, like, Blair and Elle Fowler, they used to wear them in every single one of their YouTube videos and hair extensions went nuts, particularly Foxy Locks, those were huge hair extensions. Everyone wanted them and I could never ever ever find them in my colour, ever. Archie, stop! Stop it! Why are you being so bad? Get, just, you know what? You're banished, go away. I could never find them in my colour, so I am literally beyond amazed that my mom managed to find hair extensions my shade on wish that's insane i'm guessing how do you reckon these even work i can't even i suppose you just put it do you wrap it around your ears i don't know no, see that doesn't make any sense. How is it meant to work? Because if I put this over my head, right? And then if I if I bring it up here and kind of like hook it there, well then the band sits there. So obviously, surely the band isn't actually meant to be visible, right? Do you just put it like that? Okay, I really, I can hardly tell what is my hair and what is the hair extension. The only real difference is the hair extension looks much, much healthier than my own hair. <laughs> so that's that. But I just, I have no idea how you're actually supposed to wear it because there's no clips and it's just got this plastic thing. But the plastic string, like surely you, you aren't meant to wear that at the front of your hair, are you? Like I can, I can see it right there. <laughs> What I'm gonna have to do with this one is find out from mum. I'll have to have a look at the page. I'll have to get her to send me the link to the page so I can actually see if there's any instructions on the Wish page, because I'm, I'm really not sure. But wearing them like this, they are blending in really, really well with my hair. They feel so soft. They've got a really, really nice curl to them as well. So, um, that's, I, I'm really, really impressed. That's lovely. There's also a second lot of hair extensions here. Now I have a feeling maybe these are for her because my mom has lighter hair than me. So she's got these kind of like blondish extensions. They're very, very curly. Like they're so curly that they don't even want to uncurl. <laughs> there we go. 
Wow, look at that. They are so nice. I can't believe how good they are. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Okay, that's all of the hair. And this is totally throwing me back to when I was in year 10 at school, when I was 16, because I had this huge, huge thing of extensions that I bought because Elle Fowler was talking about them. And I used to wear them to school every single day and they were massive. And I had a lot of hair back then too. I had even longer hair than what I have now. So I used to just have this gigantic thing of hair walking around and this is totally reminding me of those days. I haven't had this much hair on my head in years. So uh, yeah, interesting. I'm, I'm very, very happy with the quality of the hair itself. But I just don't understand this plastic thing that you use to connect it to your head. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I will uh, peel these off. Snatched my own weed. So quality wise, that's phenomenal. Cannot believe it. I would be very, very tempted to sew in some actual clips so I could wear them properly. I feel bald now without all of that on me. <laughs> Number four. Okay, this is very, very light. Oh, it's Gucci. It's fake Gucci. Is this a Gucci choker? Oh my god. Look, Archie. Look, it's green. It's the classic Gucci red and green, and it's got little gold bees all over it. Now, this feels very, very cheap. I would probably guess this to be free. <laughs> I reckon they would have listed this as free on Wish and maybe with like three or four dollars shipping. That's uh, not really my style, but it is Archie's style. This is a very, very Archie necklace because it is green and red, just like Archie. Look, we're matching. You know what? This is making me think. Maybe I should try and guess the price of everything. This feels like a $40 bag. If I went into a shop, I would happily pay $40 or $50 for this. I reckon my mum paid 25. I reckon my mum probably paid $15 for each of these hair extensions. I think these were probably six or seven dollars each, I reckon. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop it, stop it. Why are you such a bad bird? Why do you have to chew on everything? Okay, so number five. Okay, this feels like a bag. This definitely feels like a purse of some sort. It is. It's just a, it's just a red purse. It's not leather. Is this, you know what? This red kind of reminds me of Cartier. It's just a really, really simple pouch. It's just got, it's literally just a pouch. That, that's all it is. I reckon she probably paid $6 for this. Yeah, I think $6. Parcel number seven. This is jewelry. Oh! These are rings. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are huge. This says it's a size nine. Whoa. That's how big it is, just to give you an idea. It slips over my thumb and that's, there it is. It's got these little, three little stones on the side here and it's got this really, really nice kind of carving all the way around it. It looks very, very cheap up close, but I reckon from a distance, you might actually think that this was some sort of fancy ring. However, the sizing is absolutely terrible. Look at that, look how it's fitting me. So that's one. There's a second one where the gem is a rose gold gem. The first one had kind of like a fake diamond as a gem. This one actually has a rose gold gem. This one seems a much more appropriate size. This fits on, there we go, it fits. Wow, actually that's really, really pretty. I don't mind that at all. I reckon these were really cheap. I think 
my guess is that these were four dollars each because I'm I'm pretty familiar with Wish by now and I think that these sort of things would probably go for four dollars each. Yeah, my friend. Eight. This looks like more jewelry. Oh! <laughs> this is a dupe for Louis Vuitton. It's a little bear keychain. It's the classic, I think that they call it the Demia Azure pattern. That's that white and kind of black gray check pattern. That's really cute and it kind of feels like it's pretty well made too. I don't know if Louis Vuitton actually has one exactly like this. I don't know if they have a real design like that or if they've just taken the pattern and turned it into a teddy bear. But I feel like from a distance, if you weren't that familiar with Louis Vuitton, this could possibly pass as a real Louis Vuitton keychain. It's actually really, really cute. I think for this, I reckon she probably paid $10 for that because it's got really, really nice attention to detail. Like it's got this tiny little coin on it here that, oh my gosh, it's, what? The coin, <laughs> on one side of the coin, it looks like an Australian five cent coin, but on the reverse side of the coin, it says United States of America, half dollar. So they couldn't really make up their mind about which currency that they wanted to do that in, so they, they did it in both. This actually feels really, really good. Yeah, I reckon this is a $10 keychain. It's very, very cute. Cute enough to eat. Nine, okay. This is a handbag. Oh, this is a dupe for a, I think it's a Chanel. I think it's meant to be a Chanel boy bag, it just doesn't have the double C's on it. But again, this feels really surprisingly good. I cannot believe it. This is so heavy. If I went into a store and I pulled this off a shelf, we have a store here in Australia called Colette, and that's where you go to buy like nice bags that aren't really, really expensive, but they're still really nice. If you're an Australian, you know what I mean. This just feels like something from Colette. Like it feels really, really good. It's really solid, it's really heavy. It's got a couple of pockets on the inside. Two back here. It's got one in the center and it's got a big one there. Well, that's amazing. It does look quite similar to the Chanel boy bag. Just doesn't have the double C's, but it does look very, very similar. I reckon this is $30 on Wish, I think, $30. Okay, I think I'm gonna take off this Gucci thing. I'm not Shane and Ryland, so I'm not worthy of wearing that. Number 10, what does this feel like? It feels like a very, very thin, I reckon it's a purse again. the original listing for this because surely mum didn't order this for any particular reason. Maybe, maybe she thought that this was something a lot nicer than what it is. This is, I think this is just... No, I do know what this is. I reckon this is meant to be for going inside handbags. I reckon that's what this is. You know how when you have those big like bucket handbags, they're like a big cavernous bag and you chuck all of your stuff in the bag and it gets all lost? I reckon this is a bag divider. I think you're probably meant to put this in, because this is so ugly. <laughs> I think you're probably meant to put this inside a handbag and then it can carry like your phone and your, your headphones and your keys and your sunglasses. Surely, surely that, that must be what this is. It must be. We'll have a look at the original listing, but I reckon that's exactly what this is. I think this was $4, I reckon, four bucks. Eleven. Here we go. This is jewelry again. I, th I think. I think this is jewelry. Oh, it's more rings. Okay, so I have a feeling these rings are supposed to be Chanel because look, they have. Wow, they're actually really cute. They have a little tiny number five dangling off them, like that. 
which the only reason that I can think that anyone would put the number five on a piece of jewelry is Chanel number five, I think. Okay, so that fits, does fit me. I can stack that one next to the other one. Okay, these are actually surprisingly pretty. I can't believe how nice these are. These are made really, really well. They're beautiful. I don't know how long lasting they'll be. I don't know if they'll fall apart within a couple of minutes of wearing them, but they are really, really pretty rings. I reckon they're worth a fair bit, to be honest, but I think mum probably paid $8 for each of these rings. They look really, really beautiful on my hands. Like, they are gorgeous rings. I love those. Okay, 12. What is this? Oh. Oh. I think this is meant to be a phone holder. I think this is meant to like sit on your desk and you're meant to slot your phone in. I have a feeling. I I'm not certain, but I think that that's what that's for. Yeah, I reckon you're supposed to just like sit your phone in there. That's actually really, really cute. It's rose gold. It'll look really nice on my desk. That's, that's adorable. I reckon that was $5 as well. Okay, I've, I've lost track of everything now. Mum's numbering system has failed me. Here's another bag. This is a really, really big bag. What is this? Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's kind of cute. It's actually a, a pretty cute bag, come to think of it. It's got this little teddy hanging off it, the little pom-pom kind of thing. The bag, I'm conflicted because it feels like it's not too bad. It doesn't feel that poorly made. It actually feels like it's worth probably about 20 or $30. But this little kind of logo thing looks really, really cheap and tacky. It's an interesting bag. I really like the color. I do love the color. I think that's beautiful. I don't know what I think about these weird rectangle things though. But I reckon mum probably paid $20 for this, I think. It's really unusual, but yeah, I reckon that's a $20 bag. You know what? I think that that's what this thing is for. I think this thing, I reckon that she got that to sit inside because it sits in there perfectly. Okay, there's something here that doesn't have a number on it. This is another one of those things that you're meant to like prop your phone up on. This one's nowhere near as nice as the rose gold one, but it is the same thing. It's just, just like this. You're just meant to like sit your phone on a desk or something like that. Archie, hey, come here. Come here, come here. I reckon that she probably got this for a dollar. So that seems to be everything that she got specifically for me, I think. Now we're moving on to the box of things that she got for herself. This feels really heavy. Oh, Louis Vuitton. It's meant to be Louis Vuitton. I can tell that immediately. This is, oh wow, this is really pretty. This is so cute. So it's basically just like the Louis Vuitton pattern, how they've got this kind of little four leaf clover. And then they've also got this with a star. It's kind of like a star. That's really nice. That is so extra. I love how sparkly that is. That's beautiful. And it's got this little pom-pom on it too. Wow, that's amazing. You know, if I went into a shop, I would pay 20 bucks for that because it's really, really solid, really heavy. But seeing as it's from Wish, I reckon it was probably 10. Next up, another accessory. Oh, she got herself a teddy bear and I have a teddy bear. How cute, she got us matching bears. That's adorable. Next up, it's, it's another bear. It's another Louis Vuitton bear, but this time, this is in the Demier Abine pattern, which is the brown check. Just like that. Again, just like the one that I opened for myself. That is so well made. That's really cute. I'm pretty sure those are worth like $10, $10 at least. And then there's one last thing. Oh, she also got herself one of those phone stands, but this one's pink. 
Mother, you know that I like the colour pink. Why did you get me blue when you know that I like pink? Rude, Mum, rude. That's it for the wish items, but I have some bonus items for you guys because not only did Mum buy stuff from Wish, but she also went on Amazon. I don't know whether Mum thought that Amazon and Wish were the same thing. I mean, I did. Up until I did that Amazon handbag haul last week, I, I literally thought Amazon and Wish were exactly the same thing. So she's bought a couple of Amazon things too. So this is a handbag, I can tell. This is really heavy for something so small. Oh, it's another fake Chanel bag but it's a little teeny tiny version. This one, neither of these are leather, but I'll just pull up the Wish one. That's the Wish one, and that's the Amazon one. They are almost the same. They're slight, like the Amazon one feels really plush, like really, really squishy and plush. The Wish one feels kind of flat, but they look very, very similar. This little one, this is like right up my alley though. This is so cute. Wow, this one's red on the inside. The other one was black on the inside, but this one's red. That's lovely. I'm so impressed by this. It's got a little pocket on the back as well. Man, I reckon this was expensive. I think that this was probably 40 or $50, I reckon, looking at this. Yeah, it's not real Chanel, but Chanel dupes can be really, really expensive. Well, it's a little bit hard to close the lock. The lock is kind of like, like falling back into the bag and I can't, Get it? Oh yeah, there we go, got it. So that's what that looks like. That's really, really cute. You know, one day I would love to own a real Chanel bag. I feel like if I was going to spend money on a real designer bag one day, if I was gonna save up a couple of thousand dollars and throw that away on a handbag, I think I would get a Chanel because I think the Chanel bags are timeless. I think they're so beautiful. I think no matter your age, no matter how old it is or how long you've had it for or what year it is that you're wearing it, I think they'll always look good. I would love to own a real one one day. When it comes to things like designer bags, I don't think that the fake industry is that detrimental to the actual brands themselves because for, for most people, if you have a fake, you're hoping that people think that you have the real one. Even though the person themselves didn't invest money in the actual brand and the actual brand isn't making money from that product, the people that are seeing it are going to, it's still like advertising for the brand itself. And for a lot of people, like people like me, for example, if I have a fake one of these, it just motivates me all the more to want a real one. Like it motivates me to want to save up and have that satisfaction of being able to buy a real Chanel bag one day. Do you get what I mean? I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I'd love to see some positive uh, and interesting discussion, not just blatant rude comments and hatred. I think it's a really, really interesting topic to talk about. So yeah, maybe start a discussion down below. And then there is one last thing. This is an Amazon thing. Whoa, this is a Louis Vuitton necklace by the looks of it. Wow, this is really pretty. Archie, no, I have to take this off. Archie's ruining it. No, 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 no. So here's the last one. This is an Amazon thing. And I reckon mum probably paid maybe $30 for this. Whoa, this is actually really pretty. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. So it's really, really long like that. And then I guess you put it on and then you double it over like this. Archie, let go. Mum will get so angry. You, you go up here. Okay, so I like these little long necklaces because you can wear them a couple of ways. You can wear it up around your neck like that with the choker part and then the rest of it hanging down. Or you can also wear it like this, or you could even double it around again and wear it even tighter. I think wearing it the other way, I think that is so pretty. Now this is, like I said, this is fake Louis Vuitton. You can tell because it's got the classic little Louis Vuitton flowers all the way along. But you know what? This is amazing. Like. So good. If you went into an actual jewellery store, we have a jewellery store here in Australia called Louisa, I think, or Louisa, Louisa, and this is that sort of quality. I don't know if that store is uh, international, but it's kind of like I reckon just a step up from places like H&M and Forever 21. This is actually stop chewing my ears. This is really, really, really nice. I cannot believe it. I reckon this was thirty dollars at least on Amazon, like at least. Archie's a year and a half old now. I haven't really worn jewellery in a year and a half, mostly because Archie thinks that all jewellery is just seed attached to a string. There you have it guys, that's everything. 
Thank you, Mum. I think you chose really, really well. I actually adore your choices. Um, maybe aside from that, I don't really understand your motivation behind getting that. Everything else I think is absolutely beautiful. I recommend almost all of it. As we know, Wish is quite hit and miss. But you know what? I think almost every single thing that Mum got here is a hit. Like, all of it. It is so, so nice. Anyway, guys, there you have it. I have a lot of other Wish videos coming out soon. I have a back-to-school haul coming up. Like, a really, really, really big back-to-school haul. I bought over 50 items. And I'm going to do a huge giveaway for a couple of people that are going back to school. So you can go back to school with a nice new bag, pencil case, stationery, all that sort of stuff. So keep an eye out for that video. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can find me on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel Please. Archie's Instagram is Archie Eclectus. No, it's not Archie Cletus, as a lot of people think. The word Eclectus is what sort of bird he is. This is an Eclectus parrot. I will put all of the links to these items down below in case any of you guys want to shop them too. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!